Hey everybody, this is Brian, the Instructional Technology Team here in the School District of Waukesha. And this video is going to take you through how to create a flip lesson or really any kind of video uh, using the Photo Booth tool, which is a tool that is part of your uh, MacBook. And it's available on the MacBook free with no additional installation. So first things first, let's just uh, find it. Now you can see that I have Photo Booth up on my uh, dock over here. But if you don't have Photo Booth, by the way, that's the icon you're looking for. The largest one, the red curtain there. If you don't have that Photo Booth icon, there's a couple of ways to get to it. We can do a spotlight search and just type Photo Booth, two words, and you'll find it right there. So that's a way that you can launch it. Or you could also try to find it in your launch pad over here. If we click launch pad, you'll see Photo Booth is available there. And if you want to get that down to your dock, remember you can always just drag it there and drop it. So it's on my dock. Let's go ahead and pull that up. So it'll take a second here for Photo Booth to load. And there's a lot of programs you can use to do what I'm doing. Um, this just happens to be a free one. It's already built in, and so that's something that you, you know makes it a lot easier. I like Photo Booth because it has uh, some fun effects in it, and it's kind of a multi-purpose tool. So uh, a couple of things to point out right away. Photo Booth uses the camera on your MacBook already there. That camera is located right up at the top uh, up here of your MacBook, and when the camera's on, you'll see a little green light generally. That'll indicate that you're ready to go. Um, a couple of things that are helpful whenever you do some sort of video. One is to have good audio. One thing that I like to use is a microphone. Um, while the microphone on board your MacBook is plenty good, you can certainly use that one. I do like something that's a little bit more pointed. And so I use the uh, earbuds that came with my iPhone, actually. Um, but something that's actually a direct microphone, just because it gives a little bit better audio, a little clearer audio, especially in a space like I'm in, which has a lot of open space and a lot of echo to it. Um, another thing is lighting. Decent lighting is important, but it doesn't have to be uh, cinema quality lighting. Um, just probably better not to have it be totally dark and, and kind of a gloomy scene. And then background's important too. I've got a pretty busy background right now. Um, depending on some of the things you want to do with your movies, and I'll show you a couple of effects in a few seconds, um, a flat background uh, that is well lit is generally better. By flat, I mean a single paint color without a lot of uh, textures. You can see I've got a lot of different color and texture going on behind me, um, even if it's all kind of the same uh, tan cream color back there. I've got this blue going here. I've got some color here. I've got some words there, and then these lines from the texture that are here. So those are different things that um, can throw off some of the effects we're going to work with. So here we're in um, the photo booth, and the, and the first thing that it comes in by default as is just a standalone camera, and you can use photo booth just to take pictures. Um, lots of different things you can do with that, but if you're looking for a nice profile picture, the way that we can do that is just by lining up your camera, getting something nice that looks okay there. Obviously, the subject here is not going to be ideal, but that's okay. So we take a look, and we click this red shutter button. See the countdown? And there we've got a, we've got a quick photo. And just like a traditional photo booth, it drops down right here for you to see. So um, that countdown feature is built in across photo booth so that you can get ready for whatever's upcoming. Now they also have a burst mode that takes four pictures. This is more, like a more traditional photo booth. All right, so we can go ahead and when I select that option right there, we'll go. So you get four in a row, okay? So there's uh, another way of doing that same idea. So anyhow, uh, those are two fun things that you can do with it. And again, that's available on the MacBook. It is not available on the iPad um, as of right now. So with that said, what we're really going to focus on in this video is just the ability to take video with Photo Booth. And so you see when I click the video strip here, okay, when I click that video strip there, uh, what we get is we get a change in the icon, and now it's ready to be a video camera. And so, you know, quite simply put, when I click that, and now I'm in a live video stream, and I'm recording this, and whatever I do here will be uh, a part of that video. We'll not make that a, a long video, but pretty simple tool to use. We'll hit stop there, and that's going to kick out right there 
um, our, our video. Now, of course, I can play these back right here if I want to do that when I click on it. So you can see I can watch that video, see if it's any good. And I can get rid of any of them just by cl clicking on the X there. Okay, so I can get rid of any of these just by clicking the X on there if I need to do that. The other thing that I can do with these is when you, you see when I click on them, I have the send button here, okay? And that send button gives me places that I can send that to. So I could add this to an iPhoto, meaning that I could put it in a, a gallery or in an album that I've got already set up, which I could later create slideshows with. I could airdrop these pictures to, for instance, somebody else with a MacBook. I could send it in a message. I could tweet it out. Um, so there's some things that you can do. I can use this as my profile picture. When I click on the video, we don't have to hear that again. Okay. Um, here are some of our options again. Most of the time what I'll do with this is I'll add it to iPhoto because then I can work with it from there and send it in other places, send it off to YouTube, upload it, those sorts of things. But this is really what Photo Booth is, is in, uh, intended to do. Now there's one piece that I haven't talked about yet that we will uh, get back to in just a second here. I'm going to get rid of my media there. Okay. And so now I see this effects button here. And this is what some people, um, when they first find Photo Booth, they really think this is fun. So there's a lot of different effects that you can do. That looks very fitting. Okay. So there's the frog effect. All right. So those are okay. And they're not, um, they're fun, but they're not incredibly educationally relevant. But perhaps you can find some uses for them as you go through some things. So here's a little bit more artistic look. And uh, some stretching. My kids love to play the, with these. And then we get into the 3D effects. And this is one that um, could be kind of cool, could have some value to you, depending on what you're, what you're working with here. So um, I'm just going to choose the hologram. Op well, I'll choose the fish option here. And you'll see just what the, this can do. So it asks me to step out of the frame. I am stepping out of the frame. And when I come back in, I'm underwater. Um, and you can see the video is playing in the background. Now, this isn't the best uh, green screening that you can possibly do. I'll tell you, though, this is where my, my you can see right there, the video showing through, okay? So that is in a result of the background that I've chosen, the lighting that I've chosen, the better lighting that I have, and the more flat background that I have, the easier this is going to uh, be for me and the better it's going to work. Now, sometimes if I move my, my uh, MacBook around, all of a sudden, it kind of gets all messed up. So when you want to when you want to do this sort of green screening effect, we're really going to have to uh, set our MacBook, get everything the way we want it, and then up here in the um, menu bar for Photo Booth, you can see the View option, and it says Show Effects and Reset Effects. So I had to reset my MacBook, and I want to get back to at least the place I was before. A quick reset effect. I'll step out of the frame, and now. It's, again, back to at least where it was before. It looks a little bit better. So this can add some interest to, uh, for kids, and sometimes it's just these little things like this that might pull them in um, to get them to watch some video or to see what your next uh, presentation is all about or, or your next instructional video is. And these videos can be really helpful, too, because you can go grab them on the Internet and drop them in. So that's kind of a fun thing that you can do with them. I'm going to go back to my effects option. So there's a lot of these, um, and they all pretty much play in the in the same way, right? Okay, so there's that pop art effect, and uh, I love this new one, the hologram effect, right? So very Obi Wan Kenobi kind of thing, right? So that's cool. Um, the last one that I'm going to show you here, the last possible use for this, is not all that exciting when you first look at it, but you can implement your own user backdrops. And so what I did was I went and I grabbed just a picture off of the internet, just a JPEG picture, and I dropped it in here, and I'm going to show you how I did that. So here's another one that I grabbed. This is a map from the Huck, uh, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. This is just uh, the voyage that Huck went on. Okay, and I was trying to think about how you could use this in a more educational way, and so when I go to drop that, that user backdrop in, there you can see it just populated for me, and now I can be inside of the cell. And I'm going to do just a quick reset of the effect to get me out of the way. 
All right, when I pop back in, here it is, you can see, and I, what I link is kind of neat about this. Again, remember, this isn't very good because of my backdrop, but even if I get out of the way a little bit and get a little bit better backdrop, I can really have a live demo of something that's a really great graphic. So we're going to go back and do another one of these quick. I'm going to pop back out and I'm going to do that user backdrop here. We're going to reset the effect one more time. Let me get out of the way. And now I can begin to talk a little bit about this voyage, what maybe needs to be done on there, where there's stopping points along the way. So that's why we think this effects idea might be a pretty useful way of kind of making a lesson more interesting and bringing it to life. So while they can sometimes just be fun, they can also be a lot of other educational uses for them. And then, as I said earlier, once we've shot that, we can send it off to iPhoto and do all the things that we've learned to do in iPhoto um, to make that useful, send it up to YouTube, you know, whatever we need to do from there. So, again, this is uh, Photo Booth, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email, and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks. Bye.